Greetings, friends in Christ. From the beginning of creation, God has established the sacred pattern of going and returning, labor and rest. The discipline of rest is directly linked to creation. It is nature's rhythms of ebb and flow, of dormancy and renewal, which set the pattern for our rhythms of work and rest. But if God's balance and restoration are manifest in creation, we must acknowledge that humankind has unbalanced the rhythm of creation that has been entrusted to us. The crisis cannot be denied. Our very capacity as a human race to rest in the harmony of the created world is deeply imperiled. Recall, if you will, the parable of the unjust judge. As recorded in Luke's Gospel, Jesus tells us about a judge who lacks both conscience and compassion. But a tireless widow badgers him until he acts. I suggest it's a parable for our day. And in our day, the earth itself is the widow. Mother Earth is the widow. And we are the obstinate judge, humankind steadfastly ignoring the impassioned pleas of the earth. We find the warnings inconvenient, complex, demanding, and quite honestly, overwhelming. Indeed, they are overwhelming. Nevertheless, she persists. Mother Earth persists. And we ignore her pleading and her warning to our eternal peril. In our short-sightedness, I dare say, we grieve our Creator. Through our mission strategy in the Diocese of Massachusetts, we have committed ourselves to embracing brave change. And we have affirmed our calling to join God in repairing a broken covenant with our earth creating a more sustainable life for ourselves, for our future generations, and for all life. A resolution adopted by our 2019 Diocesan Convention called upon members of our diocese to place the care of God's creation at the heart of our common life, pledging to change our habits and choices in order to live more simply, humbly, and gently on earth. A specific way to do this is by committing to use the Sustaining Earth Our Island Home Carbon Footprint Tracker. This online tool provides a host of specific ways to monitor and reduce our own environmental impact. It can be used individually. It also allows for members of a congregation to aggregate their efforts, to build community, and perhaps even to have a little friendly carbon reduction rivalry with other congregations. I have logged on to the tracker myself and begun to see what patterns could be changed in my own household. Already I am using some appliances differently, thinking harder about auto usage, and looking forward to ever more substantive adjustments. I invite you to join me in making use of this practical tool. No single initiative will solve this crisis, of course, but the persistent widow, in this case, Earth herself, is crying out to me and to you. Please consider prayerfully how you, your household, your congregation or ministry will act for the sacred renewal of this Earth, our island home.